All right, now for our big test. The SEC playing at Arkansas, 2-0. Uh, this promises not to be an easy game. I mean, they're undefeated already. They probably haven't played any SEC teams. Cause very rarely do they play each other right away, but uh, this should be a very good test for us. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and check our uh, leader our prospect overviews and see how we're doing on uh, getting new recruits from high school. So looking over those uh, right here, I don't think I got too much changes here. I'm doing a little bit more scouting. The see wall is really good. <clears throat> we're falling behind here on John Hughes, three star prospect run stopper there. Got a good lead on Reggie Jackson there, but maybe we'll put a few more points Make sure we get it. Go ahead and scout him. We got plus two overall. We got the lead on him. Wham. We really fell behind on him really quick. It's like UAB is really after him. So we're going to go ahead and remove him from the prospect. But we do have the uh, lead on Michael Doty. And let's see. Howard Henderson. Man, we're behind by a thousand already on them as well. But we'll go ahead and leave him on the board. <clears throat> go ahead and finish scouting him plus two overall and uh, this is a guy I know we really want four star overall and we're in fourth place we got 500 on him with 170 extra bonus on him and here's a guard we're looking at we'll go we're in a lead for him now but we'll put a few extra points on JJ Anderson Let's take a look at him. Go ahead and finish scouting him. Plus three overall. <clears throat> Go ahead and put a few extra points on him. Make sure we stay. We maybe could catch the lead on him. Same thing with Brett Home. We'll go ahead and put a few extra points. We're getting close to the 5,000 here, so we got to really watch what we're doing. Let's see, the wide receiver here, we're down by almost 600, and we're down by 800 on that half back there. Let's see, by 1,000 here on this, we're going to go ahead and just remove him. Give us a few extra points to put on the other recruits or prospects. So we're down by 900, but I think we can come back on him. We'll see. Finish scouting him. He's plus three. He's a 66 overall. <clears throat> DJ Long we're in the lead for him we'll leave that alone we're in the lead I mean we're down by a thousand on his halfback go ahead let's go ahead and remove uh, we're going to put some extra points maybe going to remove one of these halfbacks here because we are targeting quite a few half halfbacks so I think I'm going to go ahead and remove him here we probably don't have a chance for him anyway. We'll put some extra points on the other halfbacks that we have leads on. <clears throat> Let's say if we get a lot of these guys, I mean, maybe we should start focusing on, on just two of the halfbacks instead of uh, we're targeting like four. Particularly the ones we're down by a thousand points. And we have a few that we're in the lead for. I think what I'll do after this episode, I think we have a bye week after this, I'll focus really well on the uh, the prospect board and dig down into it because uh, by week three you usually have a few, uh, a few of the uh, prospects ready to visit the school so we need to set those up too. So we're going to go ahead and start the game here. And you can see this is going to be a good test. Uh, they're 88 overall. Offense is 88. Defense is 87. We're 74, 72, 75. I'm going to change the playbook. You know, the Southern Mississippi uh, playbook was limited to just uh, the pistol. Um, what else? The, uh, it had the shotgun, and it also only had uh, the uh, gold line. So I'm going to go with Old Miss's uh, playbook. Maybe it'll give me a few more options to use while I'm playing the game. And I'm not just pigeonholed into maybe three formations. You know. So here we are. Their, their offense is ranked 32nd. 
and ours is ranked, uh, no, they're ranked 38th, and we're ranked 42nd. So not too bad in offense. Or 26 in rushing because uh, we have such a good running back. But they have some 90s guys here. 93 overall kicker. Let's see. And here's our guys. We're in the 80s. High, set, high 70s, low 80s. You know, they have a 91 overall center. Let's get, let's get this game going. Studio, I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Here comes their mascot. Pretty funny. Poor guy who has to wear that. It's probably a freshman or something. Okay, we get to choose. I'm going to choose heads. We won the coin toss, so I'm going to defer and kick off. So what we're going to do, if you see my other videos, is I go ahead and kick off. We play the kickoff, and then I simulate their offensive uh, snaps of the ball. And it's raining here, so this could be some uh, some fumble turnovers could happen here. We shall see what happens in this game, but playing in the rain, you're more subject to fumbling the ball, particularly when you're running. So we'll have to see how that plays out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, simulate to the next change of possession here. And they punted the ball, and we now have it. So let's see if we can drive it down, and let's see if we can beat an SEC team. This is our first major test playing an SEC team, particularly the when it's undefeated, 2-0, and we're the visitor. So let's see what we can do here. We'll start off some running first. And Adam Henriette, you know, I, I'm playing a new playbook. I don't know if I'd want to pitch off to him. He's not as good as O'Neal. I mean, maybe on short yardage he can get that extra yard. But O'Neal is our fast guy who can cut. So I got to make sure that I have O'Neal in the backfield. <clears throat> so it's second and ten. Because Adam Henry didn't get line. us anything. Here they come. So I pitched Drives it off to a screen, uh, gets it to his tailback. screen play there. Got goes. it off pretty well. O'Neal got five yard yards. Golden Eagles. Keeping the clock running. Guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. I think I want to start keeping it on the ground because, as I said in other replays or videos, you're going to go ahead and run to the left here. In other replays. Uh, Made it's been very forgiving of me of nice my passing. The yeah, so 4 down really 2 we've got a punt on here. We're on our 45. We're going to go ahead and punt. Because our defense seemed to hold last time pretty well, so I think they can hold it again and give us the ball back. Slaughter to punt. <clears throat> nice kick down to the 10-yard line. He takes it at the 12. And, uh, Broke, breaks the tackle, but we stop him on a 20, 21 yard line. Not too bad. Yep, 21. So we're going to go ahead and simulate it to the next possession here. And they went four and out. And they punted it back to me, and we're on a 39 on good field position here. Not too bad. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Gonna run right up the middle with O'Neal. See if we can start getting some yards with him. And man, Here's look how fast the these guy, uh, defensive linemen are. There. Zero line. Not like the other two teams we just played. These guys are a lot better. And Texas State and uh, Navy. I mean, they were just giving up 8, 10, 15 yards every time I try to run it. I, you know, maybe every once in a while they help me for a yard or two. But this team is being stingy with the running. They're playing a four-man front. So I may have to pass a little bit more here. Great pass to Mason. I mean, that was a, a solid on-the-mark pass by our quarterback. 21 yards on that pass. And the result, again, a nice play it's just for the right in front of that. Defensive back. So that was risky, but uh, it paid off in the end, and we're getting down into Arkansas territory with a minute and 30 seconds left in the game, uh, first quarter. They'll bring him down at about three yards rushing that time. Yard see, they're, 
Uh, five yards total, three rushes for five yards, and if you would have noticed in the last games, uh, in the first quarter, I already had either 30 yards in a Navy game and about 80 yard yards line. in the Second Texas down. State game. So, much tougher game this time, that is for sure. But I think we still can pull it off. He's gonna try I'm going to run out. Tries oh, to get great, the corner. great block by my halfback. Did you see that? I mean, man, he really laid that dude out. Well, let's watch that again. I'm rolling out to the right, and there goes third. I mean, he, bam, what a hit. Pretty much gave me another 10 yards with that hit. So almost in the red zone here. Let's see if we can get it, get the ball in the end zone here. Man, four yards, and that was a tough four yards. I got all of nine yards rushing so far, and we're almost through the first quarter. So going at that rate, we'll have a 16-yard uh, rushing game. I think we'll at figure it out here soon. Maybe they'll start From getting the worn down and we'll line. be able to run on them. It's second down. We cannot give up the run. I'm going to go ahead and try to do an option here. Toss it out. We'll get some yards on this. Good five-yard run. Third and one now. So I think let's try to do the goal line. And, I, on, you know, one yard, I like to do the fullback. The fullback dive here. Let's see if we can get it in. Up oh, into the first quarter. I guess we'll have to wait to the same quarter to try that fullback dive. This one's scoreless. Zero zero into the first quarter, turning out to be a, a very good game here. There's no blowout happening here today. That's for sure. I think this is this game is going to end on maybe whoever has the ball last or whoever. Yeah, there we go. Fullback blasted through yardage. five yards. So Ben Allen's good right on those now. short yardage. Some of he speed. is not good running from the halfback position. He's good at the fullback position. He's a good blocker. Here. We resume action and now. he here can in the get those court. first, those tough short yardage first downs. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and try to do the run to the uh, zone here. Uh, I cut to the left a little bit too soon. If I would have just kept running straight, I probably would have ran right into the end zone. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the no huddle here and see if I can't catch them. <laughs> now they're all bunching up. They know I'm going to run. But maybe I can, I said maybe I can get in, but they stopped me there on the third goal. Playing this a little bit more conservative than I did the last two games. I think I am going to have to throw here, though. Maybe I can go some quick. Do some quick uh, slants here where uh, those are pretty successful doing a quick slant and getting the ball off quickly. And this is the tenth play of the drive. All right, here we go. So I'll be looking for X or Y. I'm going to roll out to the right. Look at that. A's wide open. Great. Oh, my God. I was ran out of bounds before I cut back in. But we break the tie. And Southern Miss, we are on top 6-0. We'll go ahead and get the extra point here. To me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave so up So we're that first to break the ice in the battle of the undefeated. A 10 play, Southern Mississippi, seven, drive. Arkansas, zero. Good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. Going really to the left the here. Scrimmage, and it's opening up some like nice I normally big do, I like kicking off to the left. I seem to have more uh, As his kick team lined better up, luck he kicking is off to the left this one on. uh, opponents pinned down. Thomas fields it at the two. <laughs> they have getting pancaked everywhere. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. You know, watching that run back, I... It's just amazing they're just not running back touchdowns on us. They're that much better than our special teams. So we're going to go ahead and send the possession. And uh, they punted, and we got a touchback, and we have it on a 20-yard line. So here we are driving again, uh, leading the game 7-0 with, with two minutes left down, in the second I really half. Seen too much we have total yards 68-62, to pretty neck evenly neck matched game. Southern miss. The only thing is we had better field position, so we actually <laughs> and I, run, I tried to run around those uh, blocks because all the blocks got released and uh, they were running at me. I tried to run out to the outside and got caught. 
but at least I didn't lose any yards. From their so let's try a pass play line. here. Second down. I'll be looking at Y, see if I can't target Y here. It's a lot of times this uh, that hot route there will be open. He scrambled. Going deep. Oh, I should have thrown that. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. They let me get away with one there. Three for four, 29 yards. Should have been an interception. You're probably hearing the commentators right now saying, uh, that should have been an interception or almost intercepted. <laughs> Alright. I think I need to stay away from those long passes. I need to stay, stay in the slant. Anything throwing. So, I'll aim for right here. Scrambling around. Oh, they so they hit me as I was trying to throw. Fourth and ten, I'm going to have to punt. They were expecting the pass I'm on my own 20, I'm going to punt that. So I went well. three and out, didn't gain a yard. Slaughter is waiting for the snap. I was putting towards the right, and what a crappy punt. I mean, now they have great field position. At the 48. They're so on my 47-yard line. Like there was an opening there, but the seam closed and quickly. we'll go ahead and simulate to the next possession. And they fumbled on second down. First and 10, they dropped the pass. On second down, they fumbled, and we pick up the ball. And now we have it in excellent position, Momentum and we have a have chance. And with to so do some real damage to Arkansas can if we can score on, on this drive. Plays. Either a touchdown or a field goal, we'll be sitting really good. Ugh. Great blocks. He makes his way to about and O'Neal is now starting to break off the high like this, yardage rush. We have 35 yards with a minute left in the second quarter. In the play action passing so we're starting to break off some larger runs. We've got a first I'm going to go ahead and run again here and see if I can't. Southern Miss is um, up a score. Run off some more time. So if I do feel the field goal, we got one yard off that run. one. This back to being stingy with the yardage there. But if we can at least get a field goal before halftime and have a two-score lead going into the second half, that'd be uh, much better than uh, ending this 7-0 and making score. And we do get the ball first in the second half. So that's the good news. So I'm going to test the ball deep. Uh, you know, I was thinking I had steps ahead of him, but Antoine cannot throw the ball deep enough to get to that receiver before the defensive back. So there's yet another play if it was a good defensive back. He probably would have intercepted me. So I really, I really need to start sticking to it. I keep saying this over and over, and I don't do it. Because <clears throat> I hate throwing the ball away. I need to start just throwing the ball away, and I don't do it. Great uh, move to the outside by Mason. 21-yard reception. Great play there. A great up and out. That's one thing that this this game does really well, the up and outs or the corner routes. Much better than Madden uh, has done in the past. Now, I have not played Madden 20 yet, but... Uh, this game beats the previous Maddens on those type of routes. He's Quick pass and, he's right <coughs> and he knocks it down. He could have picked it off. He could have looked at it and he was like, I could have had that. I could have had that. stopped this silliness. <clears throat> but nope, we're going to run. We're going to uh, throw this ball and see if we can't score. Since we only have 17 Second seconds, down. I really I have two timeouts left. I need to get as close as I can. He tries to buy some time. He's under some heat. He goes out and of I run it out of bounds. So I held on to it that time. I didn't want to throw it because it looked like everybody was covered. I did have one receiver look like he was coming open for just a second there. But, it, you know, sometimes those cornerbacks are baiting you to throw. And as soon as you throw, all of a sudden they're all over them or pick you off. So third and 16. Let's see if we can get the first down here. <laughs> <laughs> I get hit as I throw. It's fourth down at 16. We're on the 30, which I think is on the cusp of our field goal capability. But I am going to try it. And we'll see if we can get a field goal here. The wind is going against us, which is not good. I, sh I should have angled more downward. 
And it's no good. And here we go. Studio update. See what's going on here. Louisville knocks off Kentucky. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and send, uh, send to the next change of possession here. And now it's uh, third quarter. We have the ball. Because remember, we, we received the ball first. So now we have it. <clears throat> Think about doing a screenplay so here. So we've rushed 14 times past nine. Actually, look at doing sort of like a wildcat type play. Do a screen. Looks like a good stream. Oh, great blocks by number 79 there. And Adam Henry gets 20 yards from the reception, and he actually was running fast that time. Amazing. So we're now on our own 45. <clears throat> now, just like we ended the first half, I'm really hoping to uh, score some points here and make it a two-score game. What a great block in front. Look at Y and X are both open. Great catch by Ryan Gross, 16-yard reception. We really got a chance here. We're on a 39. I think we need to at least get to the 25 to have a chance for a field goal. <clears throat> So we we'll go ahead and do a halfback delay handoff here. It's O'Neal. He's, He's going to pick up about the yards. 31. Good run. Gains eight Not yards give up on, on that, that run. That is what's going to save us in this game. That makes it second and two. Going back to the pistol. We're going to get the formation where O'Neal's going to run. They're about two yards away from the sticks. Southern miss. Up seven points. Was no run. Great cut back to the inside. A great yardage again. And they make the stop right around 11 the yards. They move the this is more like what we're used to. Impressive drive by this offense. <coughs> I really like what they're doing by You're keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. So we're 100%, 100% efficiency in the red zone that we're in now. We're going to run to the left. We're going to test the left side. Cut back in. The 10. <laughs> I started trucking and I tripped and I dropped on the one yard line, which was such bad luck. He should, have, he should have made it in the end zone. Poor guy. He's clapping his hands, but you know he's pissed. Alright, goal line. Let's see if we can get the. Uh, Looking to go up two touchdowns. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. High five. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And Henry's in the backfield. I don't want Henry to run this ball. He cannot. Touchdown, Whoa, Golden Eagles. <laughs> Adam Henry got it in. I did not think he was going to be able to do that. I'm shocked, but uh, pleasantly surprised. And we take a two touchdown lead with three minutes left and the third quarter. So we'll do the kickoff. And yep, you showed us that before. Governor's Louisville beat Kentucky. Louisville, so we're going to go ahead and do the kickoff, kicking off to the left. Like ready for the kick. <clears throat> he just drills See if we one. cover it down. If we actually kick it all the way to the end zone this time. <laughs> what was that? He's to the 20. And he's taken all right, we got him. We got him before the, the 30. Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect. And now we'll go season. ahead and sim to the next possession. And this time he scores. So now we're back to a one-score game. Knew that wasn't going to be easy. I mean, you know, when we were 14-0, I thought, well, if we hold him one more time and he doesn't score, we can actually win this game. So it's, it's not going to be easy game, as we so thought. So look at the total yards. It is an even game when it comes to hurry, yards. It's really gonna start to but I need to keep this on the ground. We're getting good yards. It's nice getting good cuts. Middle. Five yards he rushing five on that, that play there. He now has 80 yards per game, which is a good – it's respectable. You know, I think we can break 100. Let's see if we can't get him in contention for that Heisman Trophy. Southern Miss is up seven. If we keep getting consecutive hundred uh, yard games, yep, first down, another nine yards. So now we're at eighty nine yards. So if we can get consecutive hundred yard uh, rushing games with Jeff, uh, we can get him in that contention for the Heisman Trophy. 
So we just got to keep that. But we got to start scoring with him, too. He needs to get a few touchdowns under his belt to get in that contention, too. He's on the run. Goes so right. Hay was open, and that defensive back just pulled right in. See, here's what I'm talking about. They are not forgiving. I don't know if I just didn't see him that well. And let me go ahead and go to the next possession. And they score a field goal. So we still got the lead. 14-10 here. And we're in the fourth quarter now. So now we really need to concentrate on running that clock out. We got a long ways to go. We're on the 25-yard line. We got some good blocks. We got a first down. 13 more yards. And now Jeff O'Neill has 102 yards rushing for the day. Now if we can win this. Let's keep it on the ground. From their own, we have 11 line. first downs first down. to their seven. But it's a 10, 14, 10 ball game. Keeping it on the ground. That time they were ready. We got two yards that time. And he gets a yard on the run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Keep that man. clock ticking. Ticking on down. Second down and eight. <laughs> Try a screenplay here. It's been good for me. He's under pressure. Oh my god. You know, I threw it to O'Neal. What a play. He, he wasn't he had broke free of the block yet. And as soon as he broke free, the ball was in his hands. Look at him. He just breaks free and he catches the ball and takes off. That is just amazing. That's a man who can do it so all. And he's only had like a, he only has a 79 overall. That's amazing. Southern Miss is up by and he's four. doing all that stuff with that type of score. He fights forward and of course, to uh, Adam Henry, uh, zero yards rushing. You know, he impressed me earlier with that catch he made. And then uh, as far as running, he does not impress me too much. Uh, he did get us a touchdown, but I wish I could have gave that to O'Neal. But you got to score when you can score when you're playing a team like Arkansas. Rolling out to the right. I think I can get some good yardage here just running. Run out of bounds. I should have stayed in bounds, maybe run off the clock a little bit more. But as soon as they get the ball spotted, it may run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. So they only have three men up front. So I should be able to run off some yards here as long as they don't cheat up. Yeah. Up the middle for a nice game. Good six yards rushing. Run that clock down a little bit more. I'd like to try to get a field goal here. If not a touchdown, at least have a seven point game. <clears throat> so I'd take them a touchdown to beat me right now as it is. But if I could put three more points on the on the board. Oh, they stopped me before I even cross that first down. So third down and one here. Trying to goal line stance and see if we can do the fullback dive again. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Allen's good at the short yardage. I'm going to let that clock tick, tick, tick all the way down to about two seconds before I hike the ball. And there we go. <laughs> he barely, they gave him two yards. It looked like one to me, but we'll take the two yards. And first and goal, to pick up a first their poor down. mascot. It's basically I wonder why he's wearing a line football uniform with a head. I mean, does he? Does this guy actually play football? The line did a nice job and he wears just that enough of a ridiculous to give mask back thing? Enough room for the first down. Maybe some, somebody from Arkansas. Uh, down I get sacked. Well, of course, it's Henry. He got sacked in the backfield. O'Neal would not get sacked in the backfield. I got to watch who I'm running with. So O'Neal got hurt. That's why I, uh, I guess I'm having an issue there. So I'm going to keep him in. This is too important a game. With only a minute and 59 seconds left, I'm bringing O'Neal back in the game, even though he has a chance of injury. I do have a bye next week. So if he gets 
injured. And uh, I get stuck again from my using yards, their even third though I ran to the outside. The weak the side. Just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss so, of one. Third and goal. We gotta make it right here, or we gotta kick a field goal. Arkansas has used all their timeouts. They've been calling a timeout after I run every play, pretty much. I think we'll use the Third four verticals to see if we can get into the Ball end zone. The Actually, I'm going to go shoot for A here. He's going to cut in. A. <laughs> oh, my God. What a time that I did not need to throw an interception. At least I got to go all the way down the field to get a field goal or a touchdown. Of course, they're going to go for the touchdown. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate it. And they go all the way down, 17 to 14, USM, losing to Arkansas. And I only had 32 seconds left, but I have all three timeouts. Can I get close enough? I got to go 50 yards to get close enough to do a field goal that I know I can make. Let's see if I can do it. Late in the fourth quarter, in a one. How close this game, game is? 252 yards. Who's going to have it and who won't? They'll roll out to the right here. He's gonna go for the home run. Oh my <laughs> that That's is right the ball game. Up. Three He's interceptions. And still can't get him down. Three turnovers, run. all picks. And, that is an and 21 seconds left. That's basically the ball defense. game, folks. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. I'm gonna go ahead and just send this to the end. Just this one's in the books in our final and, uh, score, There you have it. Razorback. Our first loss of the season to the SEC. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. It was a little upsetting because uh, we were up by 14 points. But this goes to show you that uh, actually they got another field goal uh, to end that game. So 20 to 14, this is the way it ends. And uh, like I said, it's upsetting. You know, they, they say to. Broussard got a 93.6 rating, even though he threw one touchdown, three picks. I just understand their math on that because the yardage was very low, too. But Lee O'Neill got a lot of yards uh, rushing, so he keeps on doing what he's doing. <clears throat> and let's see. Uh, let's look at defensive. No sacks, no interceptions. It sure. I mean, we did get one fumble recovery, but it sure would have helped to have some sacks and interceptions. Uh, without any of those turnovers, that really hurt us, even though we held them pretty much the entire first three quarters uh, just to seven points. Um, the three picks killed us because one pick was in the end zone. Uh, that was definitely points that we lost there. So, you know, that was my fault there. I threw that. I should have kept with a game plan looks like we got another level on our head coach von, drew von eric so i'll go ahead and do those points here but um see it's my inexperience playing this game i'm gonna go ahead and uh go back over here and upgrade the the recruiting because we'll get some extra <clears throat> extra we can now find diamonds in the rough for recruits a lot easier and get I think we get a few extra points too when we're recruiting so I'm gonna go ahead and advance this to the next week so Arkansas is now 3-0 and <clears throat> we'll go ahead and advance this and we'll take a look at the ESPN top 25 and then I want to look at our conference standings to see how we're doing in our conference and even though we haven't played any conference games yet which is gonna happen in about I think uh, we got to play San Diego State, I believe, is our next game after our bye week. But after San Diego State, it's all conference play after that. And those are the games that are really going to matter. So if we can win out those games, and they're not going to be as tough as Arkansas for the most part. Oh, well, we'll have to look at the records of all these teams we're playing. Because you think you're going to be playing uh, some kind of cream puff, and then you start playing them, you find out they're 5-0. and and not as uh, terrible as you thought, but Southern Miss is, you know, with the exception of the last year, they've usually done very well at Conference USA. 
So, like I was saying in early, uh, we got some players ready to visit. So we'll have to schedule those. I may do a uh, video with, during the bye week of just focusing on the recruits. So be looking for that, and then I'll send forward to the next game, which I believe is San Diego State. I think it's who we have next. And look at the top 25. It looked like uh, number three has left. Whoever was number three last week has dropped out of the top 10, meaning they took a big loss. And it was Texas A&M who lost to Alabama, who is now number eight. So remember, if you remember right, Alabama was ranked uh, number one and lost to Virginia Tech at the beginning of the season. And Virginia Tech is uh, is undefeated still in their 20th. And it looked like Arkansas, they got top 25 votes, uh, beating the undefeated Southern Miss, unless it helped them. All right, let's look at the conference standings. And we're third in our conference with a record of 2-0 because we don't have any conference play yet. So one team, East Carolina, who is our rival, they're 1-0 in the conference. And even though they only have a 1-2 record, they're ahead of us in our conference. Looking on the west side, we have Louisiana, who is also our rival. Those will be, and we play both those teams this year. So those should be some pretty interesting games. Look at the Heisman, see if we're in there. Nope, not in the Heisman look yet. Maybe here soon. Hopefully. We'll see if any of our what is championship contenders uh, looks like all our it's given us a grade of what our championship contender grade would be and it looks like it's given us a pretty crappy outlook for the next three or four years. But we're going to change that. We'll see if we can't change you know, once we uh, finish the season, hopefully with at least eight wins, that that championship contender. So I wanted to look at players of the week. I know we're not going to be in the NCAA, but let's look at Conference USA. We didn't make it this week, but make it week one or two. Let's see if we, no, none of our guys were players of the weeks yet. So let's see if we can change that too and get some players of the week. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this week. I will see you guys in the next video.